Okay, so we've got our page numbers in now. Um, we're making kind of a lot of features to make this more advanced. Now, what you may have already done, uh, because in between features and lessons, I'm obviously saying to you, carry on with your magazine. Um, you might have already started the magazine. Uh, if you have, one problem you might be finding is that if you draw a text box uh, to write in, uh, you may be finding that you're filling it pretty quickly. So I've got some text that I've copied, so I'm just going to paste that into here. Writing. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of writing. Now that's quite small, so I might be like, oh, I want to make that bigger. So I'm going to make that bigger. Now when it gets to this size, which is quite a nice size, I think, um, it runs over that text box. So what I might be like is, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do this in columns, so I'm going to put another column here. Okay, and I'll put a picture underneath. Now what I want to do is I want to get this writing to go into this column as well. Now I could cut some, highlight it, cut some of it out and put it in there. There's actually an easier way to do it. So if I click on this one and I go Format on the Textbooks tools, there is um, an option here to create a link. Okay. So I can link one item to another to flow it. So if I create the link, I've got this link. You can see I've got the arrow. It's like down on this one. That says that I'm in this one. And then if I go to that one, it looks like it's pouring a cup into the next one. So I'm going to click on this one, and it is linked across. And can you see that the writing has gone from this side and flowed into this side? Okay, And you've got this arrow that shows you where it's linking. Okay. You don't even have to do that on a page where you've got writing in already. I could say, right, I'm going to have a text box here. Uh, I'm going to insert another text box here. And then I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to go format, create link from this one, flow into this one. And as I write, I'm just going to write something random. You will see that it automatically flows into the next text box. That's really useful for articles that you want to have in columns. So uh, you can do it the other way. You can do it as separate, but if you're getting a lot of text and you actually want to move it into another box, have a go at using that create link, drawing the two text boxes and creating a link from one text box to another.